hey guys so in the previous session we have seen uh, how to configure uh, DHCP server and uh, in this session what we are going to do is uh, I'm going to introduce you to a service called web server that is HTTP server uh, so as you guys already know what you mean what is a web server is uh, so it contains some HTML pages which will load when we are trying to access it from the end PC devices so Cisco packet tracer allows us to imitate the same uh, using the web server concept so let me go and uh, you know try to implement it so for that we are going to need one LAN network right so let me go and uh, quickly build it so just go and select one switch and uh, followed by the end devices so end devices I have two devices with me so in that two devices uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to assign the IP address dynamically okay so as we have seen in the previous videos uh, how to assign IP address uh, by dynamic so let me go and take one server over here and let me go make a connection between these guys so let me connect here and uh, let me connect this one over here and similarly this one too right so this one is a DHCP so so let me go and give it as dhcp server so dhcp server just go and configure this dhcp server so go to services in the dhcp uh, try to enable the one that is the interface fast ethernet, uh, fast ethernet 0 by 0 this one and uh, give the default gateway what we want to give say 10.0.0.0 uh, 150 and uh, followed by the you know start IP address of uh, 10 dot uh, 0 I mean sorry 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 1 right and provide the subnet mask for this IP address that is 255 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 so maximum number of users that I can I'm going to you know make use of uh, is uh, say 25 okay just 25 users in the particular LAN I can assign the dynamic IP addresses right so let me go ahead and uh, you know save that one so I saved it so as you can see the pool name is server pool and the default gateway of 10.0.0.150 with the DNS server uh, no, nothing is there so we have to uh, give the subnet mask and the maximum number of users and the services perfectly on right so if I'm gonna go to this PC uh, to the desktop in the IP config if I give the dynamic IP in the sense I should get an IP address successfully so let me check oops it is getting failed because we haven't assigned a static IP address to the server right so let me go ahead and you know give some static IP address which is of 10.0.0.224 right so this is a static IP address of this server DHCP server so remember guys whenever you try to you know uh, give some uh, use some use this DHCP server remember to give a uh, you know static IP address for that server alone so give a subnet mask default gateway is not needed and DNS server is also not needed so let me go and type the IP address and subnet mask alone so I have successfully assigned the you know static IP address for this guy uh, no need to give anything here in this end devices just go to you know go to uh, dynamic dynamic one so press dynamic requesting IP addresses so DHCP request is successful which means I got the IP address with a subnet mask and similarly with the default gateway so I have successfully implemented the DHCP server so what what I'm trying to uh, do in this session is I'm going to implement one uh, web server which you can access it from these devices these devices for that let me go and you know bring one another uh, you know server so which is going to perform the you know uh, web server operation uh, let me go ahead and you know quickly type it, type it quickly uh, so this one is you know web server so web server and uh, i'm going to assign some uh, static ip address which is of 10.0.0.225 okay so this is one uh, uh, server which is having a 
static IP address of 10.0.0.225 uh, guys remember to give it in the same range because we are connecting it in the same LAN network see as we can see this is these guys are all in 10.0.0.0 and this server and this DHCP server is also connecting to that same switch so obviously it should be in the same particular IP address range that is of 10.0.0.0 uh, some, uh, some address if you are trying to give some some other addresses like you know 20 dot uh, or 50 dot or you know 100 dot or 190 dot then this will not work this will say the LAN network is not connected so obviously we need to make one connection over here uh, let me go ahead and make it so I have successfully connected here uh, the switch is uh, you know the link is not up yet so in the meantime I'm going to configure the uh, web server so let me go ahead and you know type the configuration first of all so 10.0.0.0.225 uh, which is a static IP address for this web server and the pro and provide the subnet mask and go to the con uh, services tab so in the services tab as I I have previously told you we have a many services which we can implement it in using this uh, single uh, one uh, so let me go uh, in the uh, in the session we are dealing with uh, HTTP right that is a web server so let me go ahead to HTTP as you can see the HTTP window is open so HTTP server is on and HTTPS which is a secured one which is also on right so both are on uh, make sure it is on and as you can see here in the file manager uh, category we have a uh, certain HTML pages say copyrights.html hello world.html image.html index.html so these are all some of the you know HTML pages which are available in this server so let me go ahead and you know, uh, try to tie, uh, edit it so if I say edit uh, so I have given the HTML body over here so which will tell me what to display on the uh, you know web website so let me go ahead and you know try to access this one uh, so for this so as you can see here I'm having hello world.html image.html index.html so which is running in the IP address of 10.0.0.225 right so let me go ahead to this PC and uh, go to the uh, you know web browser so obviously you will be able to access the website from the web browsers right so what I have to do is here just go ahead and type 10.0.0.225 which is the IP address of this web server followed by uh, whatever the web pages you wanna uh, see say copy rights dot html just type enter as you can see uh, the you know uh, the whatever the contents in that copyrights dot html will be uh, visible here so this is how the web server really works guys uh, so as you can see here I have given a copyrights.html which is a HTML page which is available on that uh, you know, particular uh, web server so I am trying to access it from this NPC so this is how it, it is done so if I say if I say I want to see some other uh, uh, you know page or something like that see uh, this is the default one which will display me the you know this is a Cisco packet tracer and I have you know welcome to Cisco packet tracer so like this we can be able to access any kind of contents from here to here guys so uh, we have successfully implemented the web server and uh, we have successfully you know assigned the IP address dynamically guys so uh, hope you guys you know got this idea of what is a, what a web server is and in the forthcoming session we will try to implement it in the in more complex ways so that you guys will easily you know get to know what it really is so we'll try to you know uh, configure or you know connect uh, the uh, two LAN networks and we will try to access the web server from the uh, different LAN networks guys so uh, hope you guys liked it and uh, make sure to follow all my videos and stay tuned guys thank you